The Namibian Dolphin Project has been around since 2008. They conduct research and collect statistics on whales, dolphins and turtles along the coast. Well, mainly in Wolfers Bay at the moment, but with your help, they'll be able to expand their operations. I recently met up with the project's Barry McGovern to hear more about the kind of research he does and if the public can possibly get involved. Yeah, well, we're, we're a small research group uh, and the main aim is conservation of Namibia's whales and dolphins through research and education. And we were sort of established in 2008, so we're a relatively new group and um, we're just working away from Wolfish Bay. We're a small group, but we're, we think big and we certainly are, are pushing our collaboration. So we've got a, an umbrella research group called Sea Search Africa um, who are based in in South Africa, in Musenberg, uh, and those guys um, have two, two major sites down in South Africa, but they, they're part of us, or we're part of them, more to the point. And so they're really pushing the collaborations in South Africa. And we also then push, so we have uh, contacts with, with the humpback whale uh, researchers in Gabon and Angola as well. So we try and push, we try and think big, like I said. So. We're a non-profit and it's very difficult, obviously, so we spend a lot of our time applying for various grants, small grants, big grants. Um, we also rely heavily on, on donations from, from the public and, and interested people. With regards to the surveys we do, we've got a, a small uh, six metre uh, rib which we go out and do visual surveys. So we're then looking for whales and dolphins actively driving around the, the area looking for them. When we do come across them, we then uh, collect several other types of data. So we, we do uh, a thing called photo, uh, photo ID, which uh, allows us to generate population estimates. We also sometimes, particularly with the large whale species, we collect DNA samples. So we have a crossbow that um, collects a small little plug of skin and we then can feed that into the genetics database for the, the Western African populations. So we do a lot of our, research, uh, our, our surveys up as far as, let's say, the jetty at Langstrand. So we have a lot of sightings there. I mean, that's a key area for the bottlenose dolphins. But then, like I said, we do talk to the public and everyone in Swakop says they regularly see them from the beach. So we, we may be in the future aim to, to start to do surveys up there. That might mean just launching our boat from up there rather than the Wallfish Bay. But at the moment, we're sort of tied to where we are, limited resources again. So. We're very keen um, to, to, to hear about their sightings of whales and dolphins. Um, we regularly get calls from people on Longstrand, just north of, of, of Wallfish Bay, and they see a lot of dolphins there. But there are major uh, gaps in our data because it's such a sparsely populated um, um, shoreline in, in Namibia. So if people see um, live whales or dolphins from the sea, they, they can contact us um, with details. Ideally, if you can get a photograph, it's, it's brilliant because then we can do an ID and get the, the exact species. And likewise, if you find any dead uh, whales or dolphins on, on the beach, um, we also collect data on that. We also have a strandings hotline, so uh, if you find dead or alive as whales or dolphins on the beach, you can certainly give us a call. And there's always someone manning that phone, so that's on 24-7 with even if people are off, someone has always got that. And if you see a whale or dolphin, we're really, really interested. Even if it is, if you think it's well decomposed, we still can get good data from that. We can take skin samples, we can take teeth for aging, and we can obviously um, and take the skull and skeleton and put it up for an education display. Cuvier's beaked whale, which is a very strange deep water species, was recorded diving for 138 minutes. So they can hold their breath for well over two hours. And they can dive to depths of about three kilometers. So, and these are just ones that have were ha happened to be tagged that went to this depth. It's, it's um, very possible that they go much deeper and hold their breath for much longer. So.